Hey hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my first ever video and I'm going to keep it simple by showing up how to uh, set up your first Django application. So it walks you through what a virtual environment is, how to create it, uh, how to create it, uh, how to install Django, how to you know, um, uh, look at the dependencies which have installed, uh, then uh, in the actual uh, in the actual Django world, what Django is, what a web application framework is, and uh, that kind of stuff. It also, you know, walks you through what a Django application is, what a Django project is. That is where you know uh, the, usually the confusion is right as to what actually these two things are. And you know, uh, it walks you through to actually you know, setting up the project, uh, the basic configuration which is needed, and how to run your project. So that is the uh, you know, scope of this tutorial. It is very basic, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea if you're a complete beginner as to how uh, things are set up. So uh, I hope you like it and uh, do not forget to like and subscribe and share the content. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, uh, so uh, in this, uh, so this is the uh, video tutorial about setting up your first Django project. So we'll divide it into three or four steps. Uh, in the first step, we'll talk about Django, and then we'll talk about uh, the prerequisites which are necessary for setting up your Django project, such as the virtual environment, then installing Django within that virtual environment, and then we'll actually move to you know, uh, uh, you know, setting up your Django project, and within that we'll discuss uh, what a project is, uh, how, what an application is, how the what how what is the differentiation between the two of them, and then uh, you know. Uh, uh, we'll uh, you know actually do some hands-on by you know uh, uh, starting up the project in the Visual Studio code. So uh, let's get started. So we'll start with uh, what is Django. Uh, so Django is a web application development framework which is based on Python. Now, uh, for people who come from uh, other you know uh, other development backgrounds, Spring Boot is uh, also an example of a web application framework. So what frameworks do is you know uh, they are kind of uh, building blocks uh, which you can you know uh, use to uh, build applications faster. So uh, when I say building blocks, these are you know different modules which can be clubbed together, such as authorization module, database connectivity module, then Excel passing modules, and all these kind of stuff. So you don't need to you know kind of reinvent the wheel uh, as the technical term is. You can just pl you know uh, plug in these uh, uh, modules, uh, and uh, so you can you know develop a web application very fast. So that is a bit about Django. Now uh, let's come back to uh, our goal of uh, our goal, which is nothing but uh, setting up your uh, setting up the Django project. So let's talk about uh, first things first. Uh, so in the setup, you need a virtual environment. So uh, what a virtual environment is, it essentially is a compartment for your libraries. And each and every project should have its own virtual environment to make sure that the libraries do not mix up or you know any updation or changes within the libraries of one project do not disturb the uh, other project. So uh, let's uh, you know understand how to set up a virtual environment. The first thing you need to do is uh, make sure that uh, you know in you actually install a virtual environment which uh, which is nothing but a package on the Python package index. So I've done this step I because you know uh, I use Python you know for my personal coding as well. So I do uh, I have this uh, you know installed. So I won't be doing this step and uh, we'll just move to the. Uh, you know, a second step, which is uh, creating and activating the virtual environment. Remember, here you just install the virtual environment. Now you have to create and activate it. So this is my project folder. Uh, within that, I have an old environment, but I'll create a new one uh, and let's call it virtual env my first blog env. So this is the virtual environment which will be created, and it's a fairly quick thing. And within that, you can see what it has done. So it has installed, uh, I think, uh, so it installs three, you know, dependencies and uh, other bit of code. So you can visit uh, my first blog env uh, environment and it has a lot of scripts which come in uh, as boilerplate and the libraries. Libraries are nothing but the packages which are going to install within this libraries, within this uh, virtual environment. So uh, the first, so this step is now complete. We have now created an we have created the environment and now let's go ahead and activate it. Now the activate thing is fairly simple. As I said, there's a scripts folder and within the script, there is something called as activate. It is a, you know, you can just open this and activate it. So, so dot slash my first blog environment slash scripts slash activate. So this is how you activate it uh, for those who are you know not compatible with the uh, shell as much. So I was just uh, pressing the tab so dot slash m. So this is the uh, I press the tab and it you know uh, gives everything. So now uh, <coughs> uh, it gives the uh, path rather. So now my virtual environment is activated and you can uh, that can be verified by 
uh, what do you say um, uh, this uh, it will show the name in the brackets now django is not installed here and that you can be verified by firing one of the django commands so you see django is not uh, installed so we'll now move ahead to the second part which is nothing but installing django so as uh, as with any other package uh, installing django is very easy uh, it, you know uh, it can be done using pip install django so do, let's do pip install django and this will take at least around four to five minutes on my machine uh, depending on how fast your machine is how fast your internet connection is, it can happen sooner but on my machine uh, it takes seven to eight minutes so we'll uh, you know, uh, take a break over here so the installation is now complete and that can be verified by again firing the django admin admin version command you can also see that our virtual environment will now be enriched uh, by enriched i mean it has some additional packages which are installed right so we have our setup ready that is we have django installed now we'll take this party to the visual studio code we'll do all the setup that is creation of the project and everything within visual studio code uh, it is fairly easy to activate visual studio code from the command prompt you just do code dot and that should fire up visual studio code and the good thing is you know we are, you are still within the uh, environment So we are within the environment. So this is some of the old code which I was you know, doing for practice. So let's quickly close that up. And so this is the terminal or the PowerShell. The PowerShell is nothing but a mirror of our you know, command uh, command prompt. So let's verify that you know we are in the um, uh, same directory. Oh uh, yeah, we are in the same directory. Now again, let's activate the uh, virtual environment. My first blog environment scripts slash activate and if you give it a second uh, then it would be activation mm. right so it is loading some of the extensions and also it does take a little bit of time sometimes but that again it depends on the how fast your pc is and you clearly see my pc is not the fastest but it does the job and there you go and you can just verify that you know django admin double like version that you know we are still using the same thing yeah so we are using the same thing okay now uh, so we have done this part as well now let's talk about the django project versus what django application is so there is a little bit of confusion around this you know uh, that what is a project what is an uh, application uh, to give you an example you know i was having this discussion with one of the users from the django group where the person was just starting up learning django and he had a severe confusion between what a project is what an app is uh, how to install applications within the project and those kind of stuff so it was very basic i think uh, so maybe he should have read the documentation a bit better but uh, that's for you know so that is how you know the, the confusion exists at a lower level so what a project uh, so on a high level django you know uh, you do uh, start a project uh, which so uh, take an example of something called as amazon or a facebook so amazon is a big project within amazon there are multiple modules that you know project loading modules uh, then there is you know uh, order uh, order placing module then there's bill collections then there is you know status check customer care these are all modules which interact with each other to you know make amazon possible so similarly uh, django project is a bigger entity and you can consider it synonymous to you know facebook amazon twitter and these are all projects within them they within them they offer you know different functionalities and those are called as applications which interact with each other so on a higher level we create a project first and then we create within it sub applications it can be one or many depending on how complicated your project is so let's quickly move to creating a django project so the command for creating a django project is django admin start project so let's quickly fire that up so django admin uh, start project my first block project that is what i'm going to name it and if you now fire the dir command so we have our first block project so just cd into it and if you see uh environment cd my first blog project and if you see uh, it has a project folder and it has a manage.py so this is the root folder of a project by root you mean everything which is installed from here needs to be installed at this path um, so i 
Uh, yeah, so VWS. So it needs to install at this part. All, all your future application installation need to be done here. Now, as you see, Django has given us a lot of boilerplate code. The manage.py is a thin wrapper around the admin functionality. By admin functionality, I mean you know uh, we fired some commands such as Django admin uh, version, Django admin, uh, you know Django admin start app, start project. So these are you know functionalities, or in the future also you know when you start working with you know uh, uh, the project, you will do something called create super user or run migrations to migrate you know object models into the database so you manage.py allows you to do it easily instead of always using the django and django admin let's quickly also see what is within the uh, project folder so this is the project level setup uh, the asgi and wsgi are all you know uh, interfaces to uh, make, uh, allow external world you know uh, applications to be served via an app server urls.py is nothing but your uh, source uh, url so if you have you know uh, uh, facebook slash users facebook slash add friend and those so facebook is the urls.py now in settings.py is a very interesting and an important uh, file which uh, has all the project level settings now this is just a one file and if you intend to have multiple settings.py that is fine as well you can have a development of settings.py you can have a test you can have a QA you can have a production settings.py it entirely depends on how your project is architecture so that, that this is the boilerplate which is available as part of Django project now let's move on to creating the app uh, the command is fairly uh, you know, straightforward uh, it is Django admin start app before it was start project it was start project now it is start app uh, so uh, again you have to come to the root folder that is where your you know manage.py is and so django admin start app my first blog app that's what i'm going to name it and it will be available here as well uh, within the you know project folder so my first blog app And again, Django serves with a nice boilerplate code, and you can plug in your functionality here. Uh, of course, this is just the base part of it. You know, all the base code, and you have to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, do your additions to these codes and add multiple files. To, you know, as your project gets bigger, you add more uh, functionality to this. But this is at your root level. Now you have set up your project, but how do you actually run it? That is the question. That is how do you know if this is you know running or not? For that you have to for, you know access. So this is a web application. It has to run on the server on the server. So the good thing about Django is it comes with an inbuilt server, and you can run the project very easily using the manage.py. So dot. Uh, so I'm going to do Python dot slash manage.py run server. This is the command to run the server. And if you give it a couple of seconds, it will start up the server and your website is now served at. <coughs> your website is now served. So and this is your uh, congratulations. This also says congratulations. Your installed works successfully. So this is how we know that you know uh, your application is actually working. And if you come back to your terminal, then uh, you also have this uh, you know uh, the hits to your server, which again you know uh, tells you that your actual installation worked. So this is the basic steps for setting up your you know uh, Django project. And you start from here. You move on. You know as you learn, uh, you do you do you know more coding. And we'll get to that in later tutorials. Uh, also, if you are you know curious to read about all these files and what is contained within them, then I have you know uh, that explained in my you know uh, blog as well. You can visit that. I'll leave a link to uh, link to it in the description and do make sure to check it out as well. Uh, in the meanwhile, guys, uh, you know, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, you like it and you know uh, do subscribe to the channel and uh, also you know uh, uh, leave comments and feedback to what can be improved.